Hello everyone, I'm over Court 95. Welcome back to Cornucopia Collectibles. We've got two Funko Mystery Boxes for you today. We've got a $100 box from Grail Box. This is the second box that I had mentioned in the previous video where, you know, we had a 6 and an 11 box and we weren't certain which was which. We still don't know which was which because there was nothing to mark them. But we've got one of those. We had it last time we had about six Funko Pops in there. It was a pretty cool box overall. And then finally, we're going to end with a Pop King Paul Mystery Box. This is a $130 box. We don't really, can't remember if it was a guaranteed value or what the range was. It's just a Pop King Paul box. We're hoping for some really cool pulls. Everybody loves seeing Pop King Paul boxes opened. We've got one. Let's see what we get. So let's start though. We're going to, we're going to start though with this grail box. Again, $100 spent. And we're hoping to pull, you know, some cool stuff. Last time it was... Honestly, not bad in my opinion. We had a lot, quite a few $20-plus Funko Pops from that run. And they have so much bubble wrap in here. They bubble wrap... I, I think they have, they have these, just these boxes in a standard size, and then that's... Okay, so it's a little different from this time. From what I'm seeing, it is two regular ones, and then, like, one of the scenes or something, or, like, a store or something like that. I'm not certain. I'm going to... I actually might try to save the, the big one for last. I'm going to get what I can out of the way. And we're just going to pull... The, the, the two smalls are in protectors, and then we've got some kind of like store or like park one or something where it's a bigger thing. A total of three things in there, so I'm just going to grab one and go. We've got Hello Kitty comboed with Team USA, gold medal Hello Kitty Funko Shop exclusive. Also, it's flocked. If there's much more details on this thing, it's going <laughs> to, I'm going to need a whole, uh, Chapter one light for this. Uh, I didn't see these before. 2020, probably obviously with the, the Olympics. Limited 4,000 pieces. That's kind of cool. That's actually a Funko Shop Limited. So uh, I'll have to check it out. I have no idea because I don't really pay attention to the Hello Kitty stuff. Um, box itself is in good shape. We'll be back. Not bad, actually. 32 bucks for it for our first pull. I'm not happy with that. That's cool. And it's the Hello Kitty flocked. Yeah, I'm not. That's cool. All right. And again, limited four thousand. That's that can that could do some. That could be you know. Last one. Well, not last one, but next one. Ooh, the Lich from Adventure Time. This is like the big villain of the show. You are big. Are you like turned around a little bit? I think he is. Might have to see if we can. I'll have to check to see what the photo show. I think he's a little turned. In, in box. You could have just got loose a little. Or maybe not. I'm not certain. It's hard to tell. From 2015. We're going on seven years now with this. That's pretty cool. Cartoon Network. Probably Vault. I'll check on that too. That's cool. Because like I said, he's like the big villain for the show. Alright. We'll be back. Alright. Again, not bad for it. 33 bucks. You know? There's also a crazy... Emerald City Comic Con exclusive green one, but it's that that one's worth eight hundred and forty dollars. <laughs> I will be happy with my thirty three dollar one though. <laughs> All right, last last thing in this box from what I can see, yeah, is this big boy. So let's pull it out and see what we got. We've got Freddy Funko with Funko HQ and Everett Washington. Not bad actually for considering the size. There's a little bit of like the Boeing that these boxes do when they get bigger, but not real damage. This is actually the Emerald City Comic Con limited edition from 2020. So this is this is actually a stickered thing too. It's not just the the regular one that they might have had in the store, you know. This actually had to be gotten through the con. Um, funnily enough, it's the 2020 con, but it's a 2019 uh, production date on here, which is what happened with a couple of those ones when the cons early enough in the year. Uh, we'll check it out and be right back. Okay. With the ECCC sticker, which is what that is, we're looking at $40 in value. So not crazy, but not bad for three pops, you think about it. You know, 105 bucks on the $100 box. And I can see these going up a little bit more. I could, like, again, the Lich is going on seven years old, and he's vaulted and all this stuff. If you're collecting Adventure Time, you gotta have the Lich. <laughs> Alright, we're moving on. Now it's time for Pop King Paul. Come on, Pop King Paul. 
Give me a good one. Give me a real good one. Not that you've given me bad boxes, but you've never given me one of the Megas. Give me one of the Megas. I, 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 I gotta be getting due for a Mega Box soon, you know? Alright. So in total, we've got six Funko Pops here. They are facing down, so I really can't see. All of them are in soft protectors, so I have no way, unless if I go by dates, which I don't really want to, but at the same time, I might just to kind of just to kind of give it some sort of order. Or I might just start left and, and work my way down. Right, I'm just going to grab one and go. We have a Birds of Prey and the Fabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Uh, this is the Roman Sionis. This is the Chase Roman in the black suit with the gloves. I have no idea what this is worth. I know that the common isn't a huge one. But... From 2019, he might be bolted now. We'll have to take a look. All right, be back in just a second. All right, for the Chase Roman, we're looking at 15 bucks. Not a not a big boy, but still cool. <laughs> get get signed by the actor. All right, I'm just going down and grabbing the next. We've got. Is this the right suit as the Recyclops? Yes, it is, from the 2020 Spring Convention. Off with you. He is from 2020. This is office, obviously. And then it's the shared sticker. He's holding a milk container with flowers in it. <laughs> I'll take a look, and I'll be right back and let you know. All right, so... For the shared sticker here, Dwight Schrute as Recyclops, we're looking at 21 bucks. It's better than Chase. <laughs> Isn't that how that works sometimes? It's so weird. All right. Next one. Ooh, La Casa de Papal. Is it, to is it Tokyo Chase again? We haven't had one in a while. <laughs> we were due for one. <laughs> okay, Tokyo Chase from 2018. I think she's vaulted now. I think she was vaulted when we were first looking at her, but I'll double check. Uh, if you've been watching me from the beginning, this is one of our early chases we got. You know, it's not the very first one. We found out that was a uh, that was the plant, Audrey too. That was our very first ever chase pull was Audrey. But she's one of the early ones from back in the from from our start, which isn't that long ago. But it's been a year going on, close to. Yeah, we'll check it out and be right back with you. All righty, so. For the masked Chase Tokyo, we are looking at 47 bucks. She is still technically available, but again, it's one of those things where, like, it's from 2018. Are they actually going to do something with it, or is it <laughs> just they forgot about it? 47 bucks, though. Pretty good. Hopefully that wasn't the best pull from the whole night, but we'll find out. All right. Next up. Ooh. That's cool. Simba from The Lion King. Ooh, he's flocked. Entertainment Earth exclusive flocked Simba. I like it even more. This is from 2017, so we're going on five years now. Think about that. He looks really cool. I like that one a lot. It's not the super, super old Disney, but it's old Disney. I will check it out, and we'll be right back. I'm going to also get this protector off. All righty. Pretty good one again. So this is Simba Leafmane flocked from 2017. It is vaulted. We're looking at 31 bucks. Can't be unhappy with that. That's a really cool Disney one, too. I'm liking that a lot. All right. Last two. Do we already do the best ones, or there's still some really good stuff left? Let's find out. Chili Willy! Chili Willy Frozen. This is specifically Chili Willy Frozen. It is a Funko Shop Limited Edition. They don't call it a... It's got, like, a glitter in it. It's not a diamond, but, like, because of his... The, to give it the frozen look, he's got little flecks of uh, glitter in it throughout him. From 2018. So, again, we're going on four years old now on this puppy. Well, I'll have to take a look and see what I can find out. Be right back. Alrighty. Nothing big on him, but 14 bucks, and he is vaulted, though. So, again, you get the right people looking for these ones that they can't find anymore, and it goes well beyond that. He's pretty cool. I actually like him. They actually put them also as like a blue translucent glitter. So, 
Last one. Come on. Big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. Oh, that's the other part of the set. <laughs> we have Lion King Rafiki with Sim Baby Simba. Is it also flocked? It is also flocked. Interesting. So again, this is from 2017. Now that's the set. These two, that's the only two on the back of the box are these two. So this this run of the Lion King, that's all that there was with these two for them. That's really cool. Um, I'll check it out and I'll see what he's going for. Be right back. Not as crazy as Simba himself. He's at 17 bucks for this. But again, it's a vaulted one. So and how many are going up for sale? You know, you, you get the right marketplace again looking for this Disney. It could be crazy. It's 145. We we made a little bit of profit on it. You know. We paid $230, we are looking at $250. Nothing, cr nothing crazy value-wise, but there's some really cool stuff in these boxes. These li the Lion Kings, I'm going to say right, right off the bat, those are my personal favorites. That's those two right there together. Then we've got like the Tokyo Chase. That's a really cool pull. Even like the 4,000 Limited Hello Kitty from the other box. The Lich King. This is a lot of like good mid-tier level Funkos is the way I put this. There's, all, there's nothing really super... I mean, I think this is our cheapest one. And honestly, I could... You get the right people looking for this guy, you can go crazy. You know, then we got the big Freddy Funko HQ. A lot of cool stuff in this one. I really, I was really happy. Like I said, my personal favorites are these the symbol ones because I always love Lion King. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, but let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what your favorite was. Again, a lot of these things because we have so much coming through with the boxes and all this other stuff that we're doing sales on whatnot. Every other Thursday is our Funko auctions, and then every other Tuesday, the opposite weeks, are our odds and ends sales. We're going to do co we have comics coming up. We're going to do soda pop, you know soda Funkos, uh, Pokemon cards, just a lot of odds and ends that we've gotten between you know bouncing through the stores and garage sales and stuff like that. So make sure you follow us on whatnot as well. Besides, so if you can see those updates, if you're interested in getting a lot of these things. Um, the link for our page will be down below as well as an invite link that will get you $10 off your first purchase. I'm not officially sponsored by WhatNot, but they do have a program for invites and stuff like that. So check it out. You know, If you're not signed up already, sign up through our link, get $10 off your first purchase. But regardless, good luck hunting out there, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!